evening. Here is the world news from our studio, BGI TV, Baba Marketing Small TV. My name is Moniru Gabriela First are the major headlines for the world news this hour. Federal government sets to crush bandits. No basis to beg Bohan to release Igbo, says Afeni Ferry. Petrol subsidy invest in transport infrastructure, LCC tells MG. Abuja takes over slain OAU master's student case, lawyer kicks. WHO labels new COVID strain Omicron designate its a variant of concern. That's from the foreign story. And sport news. Eagles are confirmed to determine World Cup playoffs for now in details. The federal government on Friday expressed its determination to crush bandits who have for long held the country by the Jogawa, killing, maiming, kidnapping, and rendering citizens homeless, particularly in the northern part of the country. The Antony General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Alvokan Malami San, expressed the federal government's move in a statement on Friday by a special assistant on media and public relations, Dr. Omar Gwandu. Malami said the step taken by the federal government to obtain the prescription order was a point promoted to the commitment of the federal government to adhere to the international standard in respecting the rules of engagement in the fight against terrorism, separatist organizations, insurgency, and banditry in the country. The pan Yoruba Shushu political organization, Afeni Ferry, has said it has no basis to appeal for the regime of the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired to release Yoruba nation agitator and activist Chief Sunday Adiyamo, also known as Sunday Igbo. It, however, called on the federal government to obey the order of the Oyo State's High Court, sitting in the Oyo State High Courts citing in the battle which awarded 20 billion naira against the department of state services for damaging Igbo's house during a midnight raid on july 1st 2021 it stated these while reacting to the recent visit by some Igbo leaders to the president at the state house to request the release of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of biafra mazi in Americano. The Lagos Chapter of, I beg your pardon, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry has advised the federal government to invest in transport infrastructure to ease the pressures on citizens when the subsidy on premium motor spirits petrol is removed. The president, LCCI, Mrs. Toki Mabo Bunje, gave the advice during our welcome remarks at the virtual presidential policy dialogue session on Friday. The federal government had announced that petrol subsidy would be removed by July 2022 and that it would give a transport grant of 5,000 naira each to between 30 million and 40 million poor Nigerians for a duration of 12 months. Ma Gogunje also urged the federal government and state government to build the capacity of both the public and private sectors in understanding the opportunities in the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement to explore Nigeria's local comparative adventure and advantage within the free areas. The Nigeria Police Forces Headquarters Abuja has directed the immediate transfer of investigation into the death of Timothy Adegoki, a master's student of the Obafemi Awolowo University in Leife, Osho State, which allegedly occurred at Hilltop Hotels and Resorts in Leife. Already, the owner of the hotel, Chief Ramon Adedoin, and six workers in the facility have been arrested to connection with the death. Spokesperson for the State Police Command, YMC of Alola, said she had not been briefed on the matter. A source close to the police command who spoke on condition of anonymity on Friday told our correspondent that a signal had been received from the force headquarters asking that the matter be transferred. 
Naim Adi Kilikun, the counsel to the Adenoki family, said he was told that Force Headquarters had taken over the investigation into the matter. Meanwhile, counsel to Adenoki, Mr. Abedo Williams, in his reaction to the development, said his client was innocent. And to foreign story, the World Health Organization has named the latest COVID-19 variant identified in South Africa, the Greek name Omicron, and labeled it a variant of concern due to its large number of mutations and possible faster rates of infections. WHO, in a statement on Friday, said that preliminary evidence also suggests an increased risk of reinfection with this variant of concern as compared to other strains such as Delta. Currently, the number of cases appears to be increasing in almost all provinces in South Africa, according to the UN Health Organization and Agency. The WHO explains that the variant has been detected at faster rates than in previous surges in infections, suggesting it may have a growth advantage. And finally, to sports. The Super Eagles faced the chance to drop out of the top five round team in Africa before the playoffs for the 2022 World Cup playoffs. The Confederation of African Football at its extraordinary general assembly held in Cairo, Egypt, on Friday announced that the draw would be held on January 26. CAF also com confirmed and announced that the FIFA ranking for the month of January will be used to determine the seeded teams for the playoffs. Qualified teams for the playoffs are Senegal, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria, and Nigeria, while lower-ranked teams are Egypt, Cameroon, Ghana, Mali, and Congo DR. Before we call it to wrap on the world news, let's quickly have the headlines once again. Federal government said to crush bandits. No basis to beg Buhari to release Igbo, says Afemi Ferry. Petrol subsidy. Invest in transport infrastructure, LCC tells FG. Abuja takes over slain OAU master student case, lawyer kicks. And to foreign story, as we brought before you, WHO labels new COVID strain Omicron designates it a variant of concern. And finally, sports story. Super Eagles have conformed to the time in World Cup playoffs fall. Thank you for watching and always been there for our broadcast regularly. On YouTube, Mababa Gede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for updates of our broadcast. On Facebook, Magede Imo with Alawudi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page for updates as well. On Instagram, Magede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of coverage of your goods and services and coverage of events and functions as well, 0703822 I am yours faithfully. Moriri Rabida Lawal. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and good morning from wherever where you're watching from. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. God bless.